Hi. COP26 is a built-in failure before it's happened. 10,000 police mobilized, 30,000 delegates, hotel prices inflated by a thousand percent. That's capitalism. All the world leaders, politicians' speeches will deliver nothing but hot air, empty promises, greenwashing. Any so-called deals will be dead before the ink dries. The present worldwide system is unable to solve the problem of environmental degradation, the rape and destruction of the earth. This is propelled by the forces of capitalism and profit. The class responsible cannot and will not negotiate anything that detrimentally affects their power and wealth. Many of the world leaders gain financially from the prevailing situation, even if capitalism were to become greener. It's for one reason only, profit. But it's the same capitalism that will remain, plunging billions into destitution as the planet warms up, melts down. Resource wars will be the next item on this nightmare scenario. No way should the poorest, most impoverished, or just about getting by here or anywhere else in the world be expected to make any more sacrifice. We've nothing left to give. If there's going to be real change, we need a higher, more sustainable standard of living. The rich and middle class must pay, economically, politically. The passionate speeches emanating from the slimy, double-dealing power freaks are totally meaningless. Another polluting smokescreen, laying a path to war, misery, and the slow death of the planet. Yesterday in Glasgow, the first of the futile passive protests began. Innumerable samba bands, prop carrying, idiotic weirdo costumes, worn by mostly exar aficionados, white middle class breast beating, and virtue signaling. There is no viable alternative but to bring down the system worldwide by mass revolutionary upheaval from below. Only then can we seriously begin to reverse the damage, restore humanity to a positive and different course. This has to be our future history. The alternative is a series of never-ending, more destructive Armageddons. Bye.